Okay, everybody, I am excited about this one. Returning back from audition night number one, SoCo Talent Idol season four, is Gay Henry, everybody. He's got a following out there, in there, all around the square. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. Now, you, what you don't know out there is how good she smells. Lovely to see. Oh, so tell me about today. What brought you? What brought me is a good question. I took a taxi here. Fancy <laughs> Bill's taxi. Dwayne. Thank you. We talked about a lot of depressing things. No? It was fun. I had a great time. Right. Were you there for him? I'm always there for him. <laughs> I'm sure. And, but he was there for you. He's always there for me. Got you all the way over here. Uh, remember the Ubers? What, yeah. do you have Ubers in Guerneville? No, I, I checked already. How do you, that is something, it's a phenomenon that I, I don't understand. I love the Uber. No. You have some experience there? I Uber all over the place. I, I'm constantly Ubering. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm about to Uber all over this. What? Oh, wait a minute, that just turned dirty. Is it gonna, am I gonna need a cleanup crew? Maybe, for fun. Okay, tell me about your talent. I'm talented. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. How does that translate? What are we expecting tonight? I was a dancer for 11 years. That deserves a round, absolutely. 11 years of anything. I'm a dancer. Okay. Are you going to dance a little time? I'm about to dance right now. You are going to cut one of these rugs? I'm going to cut all of them. <laughs> okay. Everybody, Gay Henry right here, the SoCo Talent Idol. Yeah. Can I give you this microphone? I'll take it. I'll take it! As you saw from my number with Paul Popper. them what happened and what you did and how you fucked up and I'm telling them how that other blonde girl was rude to me I'm telling them Jen you know if I'm harassing you or anything in any way please let me know I'm like because I can be quite persistent I said so if you want to take down my name and number like go right ahead and do that because my mom and I are shopping around at the outlet mall there um I'm so mad right now you guys literally have no idea I was shaking like, so, oh, I have to calm down because this gets really bad here. And all of a sudden I get this call. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. I missed the call. So I call the number back and I'm like, who is this? Someone just called me. She's like, I was just wondering what time about you were coming. And I said, well, I'm leaving in about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll be there in a half an hour. Hang up the phone. I'm like, hi, I'm like, I was the person who called, um, can you please, um, and she's like, she was, she was really a bitch to me, the woman, the first woman who helped me out, she had blonde hair, I don't know her name, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 I just, I just talked to somebody like a half an hour ago, and they said that they were going to get them right away and come back, and she said, I, we've just been really busy, I look around, there's barely anybody in the freaking store, Peppers are playing today and everybody is at home watching TV where I probably should have been. So I said, okay, you're kidding me, right? And she said, no. She's like, um, what I can do, she said, is I can call around to the, and I said, no. I said, I've been calling. I said, I've been calling all the stores, no one has them. And I'm like, I was just so relieved when you told me this morning that you had them. What do you mean you don't have them? Give me my candles now. Give me my candles now. Meaning, that I didn't say that. I'm thinking this in my head. This is all going on in my head. 
Am I talking to you who is not really here? Are you reality? Because I thought you were a live person. Are you not a live person? I left out the F word. And I had a very pleasant face when I was talking. <laughs> Your ass is gonna get reamed. I don't need any more coupons. Part of me thinks I make a big deal out of nothing. I shouldn't care so much. I should be more detached. I shouldn't take it out on people. I think I'm an asshole. Part of me thinks it's not really tough love. It's not gentle and kind. Part of me thinks it's abusive. Part of me thinks I have an anger problem. Part of me thinks I'm a rageaholic. Yeah. Alright, well we'll feel better, okay? I'm glad that's over with though. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I told her to slow down, 60, 70, oh my god, this is a dream, this can't be happening, here I am, in this place, I'm not normal now. I wish I could get out. I wish I could get out tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. A lot of people get very into me. The name of my band arises from a conversation that I had with my mother. It's not, people oh. always think it's a, obscene. And I guess it has that entendre. And as a poet, as somebody who always wanted to be a poet, and there's no money in it, I've always look, been looking for the quadruple entendre, you know, the bard, you know, what Shakespeare could do. Because by the time that I left, I had very few people that I could call genuine friends, people who actually knew who I was. What people knew of me was what I showed to them in order to get them to like me, which wasn't me, because you can't be on all the time. It's hard to not do this, especially if you're a lonely person, because when you're lonely and you're finally exposed to being around other people in a social situation, you're like, oh my gosh, this is my chance to make a friend. This is my chance to make a connection with another person, and maybe this time it'll stick. I can't mess this up. Check that out. Cool, huh? Awesome. I couldn't have gotten anywhere if I wasn't good. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're not perfect. You've got things you got to work on. So work on them. Make yourself into a better, stronger person. And that way, when people come into your life, you don't have to try anymore. They'll just come. And that's what's going to happen. I promise you. That's what's going to happen. You will not be alone forever. I want things to end perfectly for you. <laughs> what's the opposite of not sucking, not sucking, not sucking, not sucking? Cost it three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. This cost it four dollars. This cost it six. 
Well, that's pretty much it. Mary meet, Mary part, bye. Is this on? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You brought us through all the way through there. Hi. Woo! How about Gay Henry? <laughs> your face, I mean, your emotion, your expressions, everything, obviously. Um, question. When, what made you start doing this? What set you apart from, um, okay, drag and lip syncing? We've all seen it, but there's something different about you. What, 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 where was the difference? What happened? Um, I was a musician forever, and I just got tired of rock and roll. That's what happened, pretty much. Who was right, your well, inspiration? This, this was rock yeah, and roll. Yeah, like rock and roll is like my inspiration. Like Cover Girl magazine, Seventeen magazine. Um, uh, that what's that? What's that mall? What's that store in the mall? Icing. Where you get your ears pierced? Right, that the place. topping. Oh yeah, oh, the cake. Oh, your topping. Cake. Icing. All right, cake, everybody. First of all, this is for you—a free drink at the R3 cool. Hotel. Oh, I want to give you this. You appreciate my books. Do you like to garden? Yeah. This is a very book, a very nice book about the well-designed mixed garden. So you, ah, oh, yeah. So you can mix it. It's heavy. You're heavy too. So thank you, everybody. Gay Henry. Maybe we'll see you um, at one of the, one more audition night for you. We have two more left. Women's Regan. We have a couple more left. Yep, that's it. All right, they'll be back. Woo!